Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three five-minute rounds in the professional lightweight contest. This is your main event of the evening. Essex makes some noise! Introducing first in the blue corner, weighing in at 155 pounds, representing TTMMA, Harry J. And now, would you please welcome his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 155 pounds, representing Tsunami Norfolk, Tarek Pal. Main event time then here, Cage Warriors Academy 30, the pro debut of one of the hottest young prospects around in Tariq Pell, six and two as an amateur. He jumped straight into the pro ranks to face off with a very experienced Harry Davis, who's five and five, former UCMMA champion. He's fought on the main Cage Warriors show. Harry Davis is no joke for Tarek Pell as a debut. Three five-minute rounds if needed, and we are underway, Nick Albert. Yeah, and with Tarek Pell, one of the big things is he's a very calm fighter. It'll be interesting to see what happens now with knees and elbows. Yeah, Tarek has not lost since 2018. Formerly a very, very kind of good, flashy striker, but with Holes may be on the ground. He's worked really hard to round that out. And he's now a pretty complete young prospect. Won the lightweight title last time out, beating eight and one Ruben Lindo before deciding to make the pro move. Head kick lands, followed it up with a nice left hand. Harry Davis, as you see, is a creative striker. He will throw spinning stuff. He's got strong left kick to the body and is trained and fought right across the world. Spent some time at All Stars in Sweden with Kamzat Chemaev and Alexander Gustafsson. So he's been in training with some of the top fighters in the world. And he's in here now trying to impose his experience and knowledge on the young lion, Tariq Pell. Constantly switching stances, Harry. Tariq taking his time. Yeah, it's interesting. Tarek Powell's really kind of doing a, a longer than normal feeling out process. Yeah, he's clearly cognizant of this move to the pro ranks, longer rounds, different rules. And now he's in on the shot. That's what we thought we'd see from Tarek. This is how he won the last fight. And this is where he's really improved his game on the floor, training with Lee Dosky at Tsunami Norfolk. Yeah, great double leg. He's into half guard now. I mean, from this position, let's look to try to posture up, maybe drop some elbows. Which, of course, is a new toy for him in the pro ranks. Exactly. Elbows on the floor. It's always nice to see these young people, when they go from the amateur pro ranks, how they take that, that new toy out for a spin, so to speak. You and can't do like that inside the gym. It looks like he's setting it up for some elbows here. There we go. And he got his first one. Oh, and oh. an uppercut. Nice. But Harry Davis fights his way back, eats the shots, back to his feet. I think what had it was Tarek actually pulled away from him at that time, which allowed Harry Davis to get up and get free. Oh, oh, oh it's a big shot. A huge shot there from Harry Davis. Harry Davis, and you had said it before, he did some wild spinning. And here's a crisis for young Tarek Pell. Can he find his way through this? Yeah, this is the big thing. This this will show whether or not he's able to clear those cobwebs, get that double leg, get back to a top position. Great composure then from Tarek Pell, who ate a big, wild shot there from Tarek, from uh, Harry Davis. I mean, he's got two minutes left to clear out the cobwebs here on top, try and work a little bit of ground and pound. Covering the mouth of Harry Davis in front of us. Nothing wrong with that. Don't ever say anything bad about that. That's no, it's my favorite thing in the world to do. It's a good and legitimate technique. Make it very uncomfortable down there. Derek Pell's looking to isolate that forearm. Looked like he was maybe going for a key lock or Americana. And at this point, a lot of it is just clearing that head. Look, you got rocked in your pro debut. Now get those cobwebs cleared and now start to do what you need to do. Go back to the game plan. 
I know Lee's probably worked a hundred times. This is exactly what we were going to do. This is what happens. And he did that. He got rocked and he got the takedown. And how he's talking to him in there, using all that kind of veteran experience to try and play yeah, on the mind of Tarek. Yeah, getting his head. Say, hey, kid, I just dropped you with a kick. And now Tarek is using his weight, making Harry carry it and on the back. The smart thing is he's done it right in front of Lee. So Lee's not having to yell across the cage. He's just talking to him. And that, that calm, familiar voice will help out to clear those cobwebs. But it'll also make him remember, oh, muscle memory. What do I do from here? Don't think about it. Just do it. So a major crisis then in the pro debut for Tarek Paddy. He was rocked badly by the wild attack of Harry Davis, but he's shown great composure. And he's able to get that hook in, and now he's coming up underneath the chin. Is he gonna have time? Harry he's Davis looking seconds. to hand fight with 15 seconds left. He's looking to go deep. Can't see if the hands are, nope. I think he's just gonna run out of time, is he? Yep, that's what it looks like it's gonna end up having. Harry Davis is gonna survive here through this first round. Turk lets him get back up and Demo Holly almost took one on the chin there as they were getting the wow. break going. And now with Harry, the biggest thing is, did come out and just go for exactly. Brock. You That's know that you can clip the kick, yeah. try to do it again. That's got to give you a lot of confidence. And Harry's a seriously experienced guy. He's been in a lot of fights. He knows how to work his way through these fights. And now knowing that he can hurt Tarek Pell has only got to supercharge his confidence. Exactly. He knows that he can actually clip him, so he's going to go for it. Be interesting to see how long Tariq stands here before he looks for the takedown. Powerful kick. Oh! Wow. Um, he's come out smoking, but he's got to be cognizant of those powerful kicks of Harry Davis. There's that spin. Exactly. That's the whole point behind it is he's got to be oh. careful of all of these little spinning back fists. And Harry Davis is digging deep into the, the trick box, isn't he? The toolbox of the veteran attack. Well, because he's trying to match the footwork. I mean, Tariq's going to have the speed advantage. But the big thing behind it is Tarek, can he be smart, close the distance, not fight at that spinning range? Nice push kick to the center. Got to be careful though, because Harry will throw these crazy attacks. I mean, Tarek right now has the ability to come in with those knees. Oh, nice, nice double leg takedown. Lovely takedown. Looking to pass already into half guard. And what a learning experience this is for Tarek Pell in his first fight. He's come through this crisis, up against a veteran, and now deep into the second round as well. Yeah, and it's one of those things that when there, there's a difference between cage time as an amateur and then cage time as a pro. I mean, we've seen it today. Vettel spent an entire, I mean, what, what he spent now, did he get to the second round? No, first yeah. round. He, he, he's yet to spend two rounds as a pro. Yeah. In one single fight. This right here is a lot of time for Tarek to be able to know, okay, you know what? I can fight back from adversity on the pro level. And he's doing just that at the moment, locking the legs again of Harry Davis. Nice little short elbow there from Harry. He's got a lot of tricks. Yeah, he, he had one before as well where he grabbed on the cage. But <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's only cheating if you get caught. Remember that. <laughs> Ric Flair said it best. You ain't cheating, you ain't trying. I'd give a woo, but my voice is already shot. <laughs> but Tarek doing a good job. Look, his head's in the right position. He's got shoulder pressure going on. Harry Davis is just looking to lock him down and not take a lot of damage in this position. Just throwing short elbows inside, punches on the inside. Tarek's doing his best to try to pass in the mount here. And again, he's right in his corner, so he's got Lee talking to him, telling him what he wants him to do. And I think now he's moved pretty much into mount. Yeah, that got it now. And Harry just trying to lock him down, but and Tarek posture up here. Then Tarek does a smart thing. Instead of having Harry's feet at the cage with him, brings him right back. That's that veteran savvy. We're knowing where you're at inside the cage at all times, locking down on that head to make sure you don't take a lot of damage. Now Tarek's looking to land the punishment from the bottom. Harry gives up his back. 
Well, Harry looking to not take any more punches. At oh! Tarek's underneath the chin on that. That is deep. That is He's close. Hand fight, hand fight. And That's he goes it. out. Tarek Pell with the submission win in his pro debut. What a performance from Tarek Pell coming through a real crisis when he was rocked in the first round, fighting his way through it, finding a way to get that second round rear naked choke finish, Nick. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mubahed, he calls to stop the action at three minutes and 25 seconds of round number two. For your winner by rear naked choke, Tarek the Tsunami!